Dear students, today I am here to talk about a beautiful story that has been taken from class 8 syllabus and the title of the story is Little Nino and My Secret Bear. The story has been composed by Mr. Abid Surati who is a well-known writer, painter and cartoonist. He lives in Mumbai and he has set up an NGO called Drop Dead. That NGO supports a movement on saving water and being disturbed by the leakage of water at people's homes, Mr. Surti decided to provide them with repair services with the help of a volunteering plumber. And till 2013, he had been able to save more than 5.5 million liters of water. Later on, with the prize money he received from Sahitya Sansthan for his contribution to Hindi literature, he set up that NGO. Mr. Surti has received many awards, honors and accolades for his great work, for his service to humanity. In this beautiful story called Little Nino and My Secret Bear, Mr. Surati talks about his little grandson Nino who is just a six-year-old child. But that six-year-old child is much ahead of children of his, his age or even adults in maturity and understanding. Electronic devices Airplanes, elevators, vehicles, computers and Indian trains are his favorite subjects and he keeps gathering information about them either from books or from search engines like Google. He calls his grandfather DJ which stands for Dadaji. Once while going to Delhi on a holiday and boarding the Rajdhani Express Nino gets a chance to go to the cabin, the cabin of the motorman and he peeps into it. When the motorman finds him peeping into his cabin, he takes Nino inside and tries to explain things given on the console. Nino surprises him with his questions like whether that Rajdhani Express was being pulled by the WAP-5 or WAP-7 engine. He later wants to know whether they used uh, which engine they used to pull the Duranto. Even his grandpa is surprised or amazed at such questions or such curiosity about things. Later in the story we find that there is a drought-like situation in the country because of no rain, birds and animals are facing death and the narrator who is also a water warrior is worried about it. So he wants to educate Nino about the whole affair and he's just planning how to start talking to Nino and how to tell him about saving water or harvesting rainwater. And he just keeps thinking which way he should start the conversation so that he could satisfy his unending, Nino's unending yet intelligent queries. He starts doing some homework to do this. He keeps imagining how he should start talking, whether talking about water scarcity at Cape Town in South Africa or mentioning the probable water crisis in Mumbai will be appropriate. But he finds that all, the, all these ways could hardly be able to engage Nino. Looking down from his balcony later during that day, from the seventh floor of the apartment of the tower he lives in, he finds that it is time for Nino to come home from school and he sees that Nino is getting off the bus and moving towards the main gate of the building. Very soon he is inside into the drawing room and untying his shoes, he asks his grandfather whether he could guess why he was so happy. Grandfather says he might have won that three-legged race in the school, to which Nino says no. He denies that any of such thing had happened. So, Mr. Uh, Mr. Abid Surati, the grandfather, he guesses that might be one of Nino's paintings would have been chosen to be put upon the wall of the classroom and this time Nino says that he was very close to the real answer and informs him that one of his essays that he wrote on how children can save water it was given gold star and further he was asked to read that essay out to the class so he was very very happy 
Now, Mr. Abid Suruti, the grandfather, he is keen to know what he had written in that essay because that was the topic he wanted to talk of to him. So, he Nino tells that kids could play a major role in saving precious drops of water by closing the taps if left open. He also suggests that kids, while returning from school, can use the water left in their water bot bottles to water the drying plants instead of throwing them as they usually do. Then he adds that he has decided to just bath now onwards with one bucket of water only and he would not use that shower because that wastes buckets of water during bath. He also suggests his grandpa to grow a beard as grandpa also wasted a lot of water while shaving by keeping the water faucet open. The story ends with the revelation of the narrator that from that day onwards Nino has been bathing with just a bucket of water every day and the narrator looked really handsome in his beard. So this is the whole story. There are two major characters in the story. The first is Nino. Nino is though just six. He is very intelligent. He is mature and he is curious, far more mature. He is far more mature for his age. He keeps looking for information about several things, especially electronic devices, vehicles, through books and search engines. He entertains serious thoughts about complicated issues like how to save water. He is the protagonist of the story. He calls his grandpa DJ, which is very interesting and which really stands for Dada G. That because he thinks that it makes him the grandfather of 21st century. The next major character, the narrator, is an 83-year-old man who lives in Mumbai and who is a well-known writer, painter and cartoonist. He is also a water warrior and he has been running a movement that aims at spreading awareness among people regarding how to save water and how to harvest rainwater for uh, public use. And uh, he is kind, humble and helpful. He loves his grandson Nino. And uh, that is the whole story. These are the two major characters. I hope you have understood the story well. And uh, very soon we will be meeting with another good video on any of the poems or the stories that is the part of the syllabus. Thank you very much for watching the video.